On this example, we're going to be finding the slope of the normal line to this curve at the point 1 comma 2 pi. So we're going to start by finding the, the uh, slope of the tangent line and then doing the opposite reciprocal for the normal line. So a normal line is perpendicular, perpendicular to the tangent line. So we'll start this by finding the slope of the tan line. That means we're finding the derivative. And when I'm doing the derivative, I realize that this is a product. It's a function x squared times function y. So I'll label that f, I'll label that g. And I know when I'm doing my derivative, I'll start with a little fig plus gif action. Alrighty, so the derivative of f is going to be 2x and leave g, leave y by itself. And the derivative of g, which is y, is going to be 1 dy dx. And leave f as it is. And then the derivative of sine y is going to be cosine y. And because y is a function, we have to multiply by the derivative of that, which is dy dx. And then the derivative of 2 pi is 0. So what we have here is 2xy plus x squared dy dx plus cosine y dy dx equals 0. So let's solve for dy dx. That starts with moving the 2xy to the other side. where it's a negative 2xy. And then we can factor it out the dy dx, which would leave us with x squared plus cosine y. And I can divide by that x squared plus cosine y. All right, and now I can plug in my x and y so 1 for x and a 2 pi for y. So a 1 for x, a 2 pi for y. A 1 for x, and a 2 pi for y. Alrighty, so up top in the numerator, I've got negative 2 times 1 times 2 pi, so negative 4 pi. And in the denominator, it looks like a 1 plus cosine of 2 pi and cosine of 2 pi is totally one. So it looks like a negative four pi over two, or a, uh, what is that, a negative two pi. Now I did want the uh, uh, normal line, so if the slope of my tangent line is equal to negative two pi, then the slope of my normal line is gonna be the opposite reciprocal, so a positive one over two pi.